Hello grade 2. I welcome you to the class of math. We are on chapter 6, lesson 6.7, 3 digit subtraction, regroup, tens. Let's begin. Our objective for today, record 3 digit subtraction using the standard algorithm with possible regrouping of tens. Let's look at this fluency builder. The first one says add 10 to each number. So when you add 10 to 23, it becomes 33. When you add 10 to 89, it becomes 99. 54 becomes 64 and 172 becomes 182. Students, please remember that we added 10 to each number. Now let's add 100 to each number. So, 301 will become 401, 158 will become 258, 612 will become 712 and 15 will become 115. In this case, we have added 100 to each number. Now, let's subtract 10 from each number. Remember, it's subtract. 39 will become 29. 46 will become 36, 60 will become 50 and 128 will become 118. And finally, subtract 100 from each number. 920 will become 820, 313 will become 213, 194 will become 94 and lastly, 927 will become 827. Students, please, this is a fluency builder which you must practice on a regular basis using any number. You can add 10 or 100 or you can subtract 10 or 100 and practice your fluency. Now, I would like you to open page number 427, Listen and Draw. So, here's the question. 473 people went to the football game. 146 people were still there at the end of the game. Alright, so some people left in between the game and we do not know how many. So, how many people left before the end of the game? Let's use quick pictures to find out. So I'm going to draw what I already know, which is the big number, 473. So for 400, I'm going to use 4 squares, which is 400, 7 tenths, and how many ones? Very good. I'm going to use 3 ones. Now I'm going to look at the second number, which is 146 people who left the who was, I'm sorry, who was still at the game. So, can I remove six ones from three ones? I cannot possibly do that. So, I'm going to pull one ten to the one section. You see that? Now, as you, as I always say in class, one ten has no business in the one section. So, I'm going to convert this one ten into ten ones. There you go. Now, ask yourself, now can you remove six ones? Of course you can. So, I'm going to remove six ones. Okay, so we're done with ones. Now, let's take a look at tens. So, I'll repeat, 146 people were still at the game. So, what I have to remove? I have to remove four tens. So, let me draw this for you. Let me draw the four tens for you. And now I'm going to remove these four tens from here. All right. And finally, I still have 100 which I have to remove. So I'm going to remove this 100 because the number of people still at the game were 146. So as you can see, I have removed 100, four tens and six ones. So what number am I left with children? Let's count the hundreds first. We have three hundreds two tens and seven ones. If you've not understood this clearly, please feel free 
to click back on this slide and understand this better because the whole lesson is based on your understanding of this page. Now let's look at share and show. Solve and write the difference. 431 minus 326. Now students, we do not have enough ones to remove six ones. So here we are going to regroup tens. So what we are going to do, it's very simple. We are going to Cancel 3, make it 2 because 3 will become 2 tens and 1 will become 11 tens. So now 11 minus 6 is 5 and 2 minus 2. Remember if the number is the same then 0 is the game. So 2 minus 2 is 0 and 4 minus 3 becomes 1. So the answer you have is 105. Look at the second one. It says 658 minus 237. Now children, do you need to regroup here? No. More on top? No need to stop. So 8 minus 7 will give you 1. 5 minus 3 will give you 2. And 6 minus 2 will give you 4. So the answer is 421. Please complete this in your books. On the basis of your understanding, you will solve the on your own page which is 249. Now students, it has been observed that not many of you are completing this page. Please remember that this is an important page for you to complete. When you come to class, I will correct this for you. Now let's look at the Think Smarter question on page 430. It says, Dr. Jackson had 326 stamps. He sells 107 stamps. How many stamps does he have now? Okay, so first of all, we need to subtract 107 from 326. 107 from 326. 26. And what answer will we get? We definitely need to regroup the tens, right? So here's the answer. I've solved it for you. You get 219 stamps. Would, would you do these things to solve the problem? Choose yes or no. So did you subtract 107 from 326? Yes, you did. So you will click the yes. You will shade the yes. Did you regroup 110 as 10 ones? Yes, you did. Remember I told you in the beginning? Yes, you need to regroup. Did you regroup the hundreds? No, we did not touch the hundreds. We didn't have to regroup the hundreds. We just had to subtract it. Okay. And finally, I'm sorry, there are two more. Subtract 7 ones from 16 ones. Did you do that? Yes, you did. And finally now, did you add 26 plus 10? No, you did not do any adding here, right? Because it's a subtraction sum. So, you will shade no. Please complete this page and I will have this marked in class. And now, when do you regroup tens in subtraction? You regroup one ten as ten ones when there are not enough ones to subtract from. Don't forget to do your homework on page 431. Thank you very much students. Should you have any doubts, feel free to ask your teacher in class. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.